5 Kilobyte Productions and Half Lit Cassette Master Productions presents. Today we are presenting the National Reel to Reel Tape Recorder that I got from Amberola 1B on YouTube. Here's a manual for the National Reel to Reel Recorder model RQ158S. It is in both English and French. That part is in one color there. This in black and white. You just heard it. You just heard the darn Here's the um... The specifications. Now this video is going to be long enough. I, you know, but let me go ahead and read to you some of the more important parts from the specs. Frequency response at 1 in 7 eighths, we got 120 to 5,000 hertz. And at 3 force, we have 128,000 hertz. Of course, we have AC bias. Um, battery life is about 15 hours using a national high top battery. Here's an example of an old national high top battery. This is a C size one. The machine uses D sizes. I found this battery in a cassette recorder I got in, at an estate sale. The others were corroded, but I kept one for reference. The, the, one of the ones that wasn't corroded, so. Here's an example of what a national high top battery is like. Uh, AC bias at about 35 kil uh, kilohertz, DC erase. The amplifier is a 1.2 watts, a 1.5 watt maximum. Well, so the only cosmetic issue with this, other than that, it is near. <laughs> but, um, maybe the machine got dropped in the past, who knows? Um, it's cracked right there. The reason why that's cracked on the handle is because. This metal piece here on this side, the metal piece on the other side, was slightly bent. I think it hit. It might have dropped or got bumped or hard or something, and shifted that. That's kind. Of, that metal is kind of bent slightly that way, and that metal is bent kind of slightly that way. Although it's not outward, but it's kind of straight and that's kind of a little inward. And it's supposed to be evenly inward in a slight amount. I don't even know if you can grasp what I'm saying. I'm probably just confusing I'm probably just conf confusing you like you've never been confused before but um rewind and now record it with this machine. First of all if you get this particular model machine and you try to make a recording and it ends up um, making extremely weak and super duper distorted recording, chances are the bias oscillator is not working. And then if you check ahead and you got no AC voltage on ahead during recording, you know the bias oscillator is not working. Well, that's how it was with this, and it was just that the bias transistor was bad. I replaced the bias transistor with the PNP, just typical transistor. I put a silicon one in, the original one was a Germanium 2SB172, I believe, but it didn't really matter, it works with the new transistor. So now it's in full working order. I also recapped it. Let's now hear a word from Spats Bear. The box. Mint in the box. Mint. In the box. In the box. Mint in the box. Mint in the box. I mean, that's all. It's in the box. In the box. Mint in the box. Mint in the box. It's in the box. Avocado appliance. In the box. In the box. I'm in the box. The boxes. Back in the box. It's what's in the box. As you could hear, the bi the um, the way it's biased or whatever in here isn't the best, so it has distortion on the S, even though it's AC bias. And that's a disappointment. I tried adjusting the bias trimmer in the on the circuit board, but it it didn't do anything to help the audio quality. Here we have the two-digit tape counter, and you might be thinking only two digits why you need more than that well the truth of the matter is is that this counter runs at a very slow rate and it runs so slow you only need two digits here is the reverse button right on top of the play button push that button while playing and it will go into reverse in order to go back into the forward direction you have to press stop and then press play again here is the Q button you hold down the Q button to turn the motor off, release it, and the motor will turn back on. This button is useful when preparing to make a recording and you want to set your level just right. And speaking of level, here is the level meter. The typical level meter, although a little more decorated than 
a lot of them it actually has the numbering for the decibel amounts and um, so that's pretty nice as for of course recording you got the level going and 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 then in playback you got it going into the uh, overdrive zone to show battery condition now here's something neat you got voice operate and manual no it's not manual level control and automatic level control this is voice operate and manual in voice operate mode and while recording the machine will remain off until it picks up a sound the moment the sound is picked up by the machine the motor is activated and it will run for as long as it picks up a sound a couple of seconds after the sound stops the motor's action is then terminated here are the standard volume and tone controls like you might find on a typical tape recorder it's pretty obvious what they do national automatic automatic reverse but it's a homemade power supply and for fun, I decided to run the two power supplies in series at 4.5 volts each to get 9 volts to run the machine. Here it is. It has the Concord treble clef. Of course, you have the cord marks. Those are pretty much unavoidable on all the microphones because no matter where you'll find them, they always have the cord wrapped around them. And we can set our level. Level, level, level. Level, 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 level. This is in voice activate mode, so as you can see, it doesn't always stay on. Activate, activate, activate. Yep, the voice operate feature isn't that recent. Voice activate mode, so as you can see, it doesn't always stay on. Activate, activate. Voice operated feature isn't that recent a feature. I mean, it's common on micro cassette recorders and um, perhaps maybe even some of the digital recorders, but it isn't uh, just a recently done feature. It even existed in the 1960s, as can be seen with this recorder. It's to manual mode. We're now running into manual mode, which is a standard way to record. And um, this is a manual level control machine, no automatic level control. And now we can set our level higher and speak at arm's length distance and see how that sounds. Now before we finish the recording, we'll put in the Q button and then we'll hook up the Sony F96 microphone so we can hear the difference between the sound qualities of the two microphones. Warning, sibilance will be heard. I'm now using the Sony F96 microphone make a recording on the national recorder. I keep forgetting the model number. I think it's like RQ158S. Anyway, let's see how this comes out using this microphone. Now it's to a long arm length here. Here we're running the machine, or running the level at arm's length distance. And let's see how this sounds. I do speak loudly, so if I speak softly, let's see how this sounds. And now let's try speaking softly. I'm up close to the microphone. Let's see how this sounds. Let's show the auto reverse operate and see what's on the other side of this tape. The uh, pass of the national. Cool 104 KFLI Desert. Yeah, these are this was recorded on a different machine back and um at probably in 2008. recording at the old house. It must be this much and it's retarded. Oh my gosh, computer! Oh my gosh! Oh, move your hourglass to wherever you want. Oh my. This was probably recorded with the Mayfair or something like that. Ugh. And now. This is just hard. Oh my. I lived at the old house too. Okay. When is it? I got my webcam, which this computer doesn't want to work on, plugged in here. Okay, after this hourglass, okay. Now listen to this sound. Just listen. Just keep your ears open. Ugly! Ugly! Oh, try again. Ugly! Ugly! Oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. Set the level. Okay. 
I'm now recording at 1 and 7 eighths inches per second on the 8S reel to reel. And I'm going to hear the sound at 1 and 7 eighths inches per second. Blah, 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 1 and 7 eighths inches per second. Blah, 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 blah. Also known as 4.8 centimeters per second. As you can hear, the sibilance is just intense at that speed. As you can hear, sound quality of 178 is pretty bad. <laughs> 